Check out this exclusive interview at the G-List Society with your host, Wady G, right now. Hello, listeners. I am Wady G, the creator of the G-List Society blog, and you are listening to a new episode of G-Chat, where I interview our favorite LGBT personalities over the phone. And right now, I have two exciting guests. Normally, I have one, but today is a special occasion because if you watch the Grammys, on um, this past Sunday, or um, well, for depending on when you saw it, January 2014, um, there was a big ceremony, a marriage ceremony that happened during the uh, Macklemore performance, and two or one set of the couples were there, and it just uh, it blew it just blew me away once I found out who they were. And then uh, when I featured them on the blog, I mean, you guys, like, showed a lot of love to this couple. And and they are Octavius Terry and Jamal Sims. Hello, guys. Hey. Hey, everybody. Hey. What's happening? Everything is great. I want to say congratulations now that I'm speaking to you. Oh, thank and you. I'm, and I'm sure you're getting them everywhere. Um but um, before we get off the call, I want to, you know, play a little game with you and, you know, get some couples advice. And, you know, you're a married couple now, been together for quite a long time. I mean, shoot, seven years seemed like 70 years in our, yeah. in our community. You, you <laughs> know yourself. <laughs> shoot, I'll try to make that two and a half, okay? <laughs> you know, like I, I, I told couple of my friends, I said, man, you know, I said, okay, the next relationship I get into, let me try to beat that two and a half year mark. For some reason, I just can't get over that. But, yeah. Um, no, it's a rough one. It, it, trust me, we have a lot of single friends. We know exactly, you know, and we, we've been single ourselves, so we know that, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying. With these couple of scenarios, maybe, you know, you could, um, you know, take some personal experiences from your lives and uh, and answer these and, you know, see how much fun we can have with them, okay? So yeah, the first, scenario, <laughs> the first scenario is, and actually this is my own personal one, um, <laughs> so, you know, so a person meets a guy, loves everything about him as far as intelligence, looks, how he got things going for himself and everything, but then there is one thing that's holding that person back from really wanting to get with the guy, and that's his hygiene, mm-hmm. in particular his breath. <laughs> they've yep. been out on a few dates. They've been communicating, uh, whether it's you know on a date or in public. But said dater is trying to figure out how to tell the person he likes that he's been dating. <sighs> Can you do something about your breath, or maybe you should move forward? What would be your suggestion to the dater? Jamal, I'll let Jamal ask you. <laughs> uh, he lets me because I, 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 my, my nose is sensitive, so I smell everything. I, I like it. Uh, it's just, it's crazy. I, you know, I walk into a room and I can smell something. Anyway, long story short, what I, what I think is honesty is always going to be your best policy in these kind of situations. But I always say you can't just be like your breast thing. You have to say. Because with one of my friends, uh, they had a breath problem, and what I did is I said, you know what? I said I, I I brought it up and said that I went to my dentist because I asked my dentist. I said, what do you do for bad breath? And he said, sometimes it's about you know having a deep it's the gums that that need a deep cleansing, and that can get a lot of times you know the bad bad breath. And so I would recommend I would say, you know what? Uh, you know, I'm not trying to be rude, but, you know, there is something that, you know, I do want to speak on, and it's, it's you know, and it's nothing about you. It could be something that you don't even recognize. You know what I mean? I think telling people, they appreciate it, because sometimes, like, even if I had a booger in my nose and, and I came and was like, yo, you're a booger, you know, I'm like, oh, shoot, you know, and, I, and I'll get it. I'm glad that they told me. Some people don't even know because they don't. So if you never, you know what I mean, especially if they have everything going for them and, and it's just that. That, that's a small thing in in the bigger picture of where you kind of want to go. You know what I mean? And it's a small right. thing, like, yeah, big, but it's a big thing because you can't get past it. So you have to kind of say it. But you could say it in, 
you know, hey, you know, I have a, a, a dentist. If you want to go to him and see about this deep cleansing, because I don't even know if you notice it, but it's something that might, you know what I mean, that might help you because a lot of times even giving these kind of people, sometimes a gum is not going to help you. they got to go and get the teeth clean. So, you know, just saying it and to see their response of them, if they get offended, then, you know, it might not be something that you want to be with anyway because it's a small thing. But if they're like, oh, well, yeah, let me know what, what should do this. Maybe I should go get it checked out. I'm glad you told me because, you know, X, Y, and Z, you know, I think that that's the kind of person that you would want to be in a relationship with anyway, you yeah. know. Yeah, I agree. True, because, I mean, like you said, honesty is the best policy. And even yeah. it, it's my stickler with friends. I said, look, if you see something, like, weird about me, let me know, because I don't want the rest of the city seeing it, exactly. and then I'm getting all kinds of stares. Yeah. So, nah. and I mean, that was a, that was your advice to me, because uh, ugh, it, <laughs> I tell you, like, you meet nah. somebody you like. And it's a deal breaker. <laughs> yeah. It is. And like yeah. you said, I, I'm pretty much hypersensitive to yeah. odors. You mean, I don't know what it is about it, but... A certain odor can make me want to hurl. So it's done. Uh, I agree. Because I'm like, lady, just walk away. Don't even offer him a tic tac because then you might have been here. But then I said, okay, now Jamal has made it cool. So I'll give him yeah. a tic tac. <laughs> no, you can you, you can bring it up though. You know, you got to bring it up yeah. really cool. You know, a friend of mine's on the other side. Because and, you know what, yeah. I, I think that that's one of the things, especially if you're just getting in a relationship, that uh, the other person at least knows that you're going to be honest. And I think that. Yeah. Especially two men in relationships, that's what we, we search for is somebody to be honest because we, we've hidden ourselves for so much and we lie about everything. And so if somebody comes to you and they're honest about even your odor, then you automatically say, hey, well, this could be really good relationship material because I never have to guess and I never have to be lied to because if you lie about the small things, you'll definitely lie about the big things. So it could be a good indicator, actually, instead of a bad thing. Yeah. True.